ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. Good morning, Allie and Ellie. Now, at this point, hopefully you guys have all seen my full Dodge Demon review. <laughs> seen it yet make sure to check it out I've got a link in the description below for that we might need to put the demon head-to-head -head against the supercharged Lamborghini I mean 805 horsepower versus 840 sounds like a good duel to me James is headed over right now he's gonna take some photos of the Dodge Demon I'm excited to see all that so I can throw it up on my website as well as Instagram we got James in the car now I'm on what do you <laughs> mom. what do you think demon versus supercharged Huracan who's gonna come out on top Huracan. I think only so because of the weight. That's only because of the weight, right. absolutely. I have only seen one demon before, partly due to the location. Like, depending upon where you were, if I still lived in Michigan, okay. the demon would probably seem a lot less cool. There were Hellcats on every corner. I'm sure there's a lot more demons, although production is uh, significantly more limited. But here in Southern California, we don't even see Hellcats. So, getting to drive a demon. It's a pretty special experience. Pulled over to wait for the demon and hello, officer. We're about to start filming the review, although I'm a little nervous about the audio because of how windy it is. So I came up to the canyons, not because it was a perfect place to drive a demon. Obviously, we want some longer, straighter roads, but because the scenery is amazing, so that these guys from LA Drones can throw up their Inspire 2 and capture some epic shots. Get the controller, we got an iPad. You can see what it's seeing. They've actually got one guy flying the drone and then the other actually operating the camera on the drone. And I'm just down here trying to fly my Mavic Pro into trees. It is finally time to take this thing for a spin. I haven't driven a Dodge Challenger in quite some time. The last one I drove was my friend Tyler's car and I believe at the time it was around a thousand horsepower to the wheels. But this has some serious special additions that I've talked about in the review. We're gonna head back to my place, switch the Stelvio out for the Lamborghini, get some lunch, and then, yeah, I think we're gonna put the Lamborghini against the, against the demon. Back at the house, James is hopping in the Lambo right now. We're gonna fire it up from driving the demon. If we did a race from 10, 20 miles an hour or from a dig uh, in any place other than a drag strip, the all-wheel drive car is gonna walk it. But once it gets traction, it pulls hard. I think this is gonna be closer than I would have originally anticipated. All right, Ellie, you trusty beast. Let's see it. We're in Corsa mode, traction off, right behind the Demon. This thing looks absolutely mean and sounds so good when you're outside of the car listening to it. Not only does it have the most nuts supercharger whine ever from the interior, from the outside, you hear it as well. Just him putting around at slow speeds. Oh, that is a beautifully specced Range Rover. Turns out that guy was a subscriber. Freaking awesome car, dude. Well, here it is. I've got the GoPro set up. We're about to go to a private road and change drivers, professional drivers, obviously, only on this channel. This is an LP6-4, but it's got a VF supercharger kit on it, making 805 horsepower. And then we have the brand new Dodge Demon that I just reviewed. It's on pump gas because the Demon crate has not showed up yet, limiting it to only 808 horsepower. Now, the Demon weighs significantly more than the Huracan. With everything removed, now this has the seats added back in. It's a 4,300 pound car. That's a 3,300 pound car. So a thousand pound difference is pretty severe. But honestly, we'll find out soon. I've only seen one Demon before and it was at the SEMA Auto Show. Seeing this in person, it looks so much meaner than the Hellcat. I mean, especially that front hood scoop, the wide body, the nice wheels. If I had a choice between a heavily modified Hellcat and a stock Demon, I'd take a stock Demon all the way. Check this out, on the windshield, we've actually got a Demon doing a burnout. I've been told the reason they put that emblem, that little insignia on the windshield, it's actually pretty creative, is to convince people who bought a Dodge product, if the windshield were to crack, get hit by a rock behind a semi, I've gone through that with this and my Mercedes, 
It convinces people not to buy an aftermarket windshield because it's not going to have that. Super easy to tell that it's not an OEM piece and it makes Dodge more money. I'm sure that costs significantly more than an aftermarket windshield, but it's a pretty cool decal. Just like before, if I'm using this GoPro angle, that is the winning angle. So hopefully we're using this one. And if I'm using this GoPro, it'll be the losing angle and I just won't even put it in the video because I don't want to lose. I'm just kidding. No, this is the losing angle. Let's roll. demon and we'll go over a little recap of what happened there ah yes it wouldn't be a day in LA without traffic oh, look we've got another challenger definitely not a demon though so she's got a little princess crown it's, it's... oh oh yep <laughs> was a new series you wanted to start oh so we look at cars and see if the person matches the car and I... that woman was spot on. It was because spot on. Right, the dog popped out and used it. Because, like, oh, it's a princess, and then she's got a little poodle with her. Exactly. Is also, that the same SVR yeah, again? I'm Gosh darn, that is, is sick. That thing's. That is rolling. so sick. Oh, look at that thing rolling. Oh, the crackles. What? like the ultimate SUV, that thing is sick. Of course, I didn't get it on film, but we were right behind it on the freeway, and that thing pops like nobody's business, like it's an F-Type R, except it's a damn SUV. I, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have a Maserati Ghibli. Let's see, does the owner match its car? Oh, shoot, we didn't make it. I don't know. Gosh, what I don't know. What, it crashed? Yeah. Oh, well, then the owner matches its car for sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh shoot. Well, that was actually way, way closer than I was expecting. In the first race, he took off in automatic mode, so when we went on three at the exact same time, his car delayed as it downshifted and then took off. When he took off after me, basically, because these cars are so close in speed, uh, whoever gets the jump is going to end up winning. On the second race, I thought, all right, I'll let him jump, and then I took off noticeably after him. The Huracan started reeling him in at the end, but damn, that demon is fast. Then on the third race, similar thing where we took off at the same time, but the car took off a little bit later. But once we got up to speed, you could tell that they pretty much maintained the same distance the rest of the way through the race. So I want to go check out the engine of the Demon and compare it. There's kind of some similarities between this Huracan and the Demon in the fact that they're both supercharged. Yo, you gotta move. What do you mean? You got a Demon. I got your house. There's a demon in my house? There's a demon in my house. Okay, we gotta leave. Obviously, two very different cars with a very similar end result in terms of a roll race. So we've got rear wheel drive, 315s in the back. This is all wheel drive. We've got 305s in the back. For the engine, 6.2 liter supercharged V8. And then over here, we've got a 5.2 liter supercharged V10. I'm in love with the fact that they actually put this demon badge almost like cast or imprinted onto the supercharger itself instead of just a logo. That looks freaking awesome. This would be a heck of a garage. An E63, a Huracan, and a demon. And, and also a giveaway Z4, but, but mostly these three. The halos on this thing are incredible. And as I mentioned in the review, We've got little demon emblems that light up in the intakes themselves. That is awesome. Both sides are air intakes for extra induction. Now I've been looking to do something totally different to spice the channel up. What do you guys think of the idea of me getting the demon? It could be pretty rad. There's this matte green color, this really dark army green that looks amazing. I can think of some epic rap ideas for that. By the way, I still need to freaking wrap this thing, but Dodge Demon? We're back inside with the latest Vehicle Virgins hoodie. There is gonna be a whole bunch of new epic merchandise coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Honestly, 
The demon is pretty freaking epic. The fact that it's a 100% stock car with the warranty and it's that quick is pretty staggering and for $85,000 as well. And despite what people say, it doesn't actually handle all that bad. And you have so much grip because of the wide front and rear tires. It's somewhat fun on twisty roads. Now it's not an exceptional canyon carver by any means, but Dodge killed it with the Demon. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.